And Lily, did you hear that the president said in public you can take off your mask if you're around one friend or two friends and you're both vaccinated? It was really great news, but I wear scarves and I never cover up and I would never uh, uncover my face. <laughs> Because I'm always hiding, man. Javita late. I'm always hiding. So what if you're a person who's in hiding? Should you take off your mask? Because, <laughs> because as Javita late, you want to hide from people. You want to want to cover your face. Uh, you know, did the president give CDC guidelines on people hiding from other people? <laughs> Or is, is Dr. Walensky going to detail that tomorrow? Because until then, I'm on the hide. I'm on the hide. And uh, is that your light? I better hide soon. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, Ella, do you notice? I, I yeah, I, I do notice something. The, the 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 secretary to the press secretary, she wore green also. Was there a memo to wear green today? <laughs> there was a memo to wear green. And then those little things on the table, they're green. Do you notice them? Uh, let me. Let let me take off the graphic so the viewers can see it. I just think I think there's a lot of green on the show today. It's just I, th I just think she's moved on from Muddle Blue and she's just doing a lot of green. Let's see it. There we go. There's green everywhere. It's St. Patrick's Day at the White House. They're just all drinking Guinness beer at lunchtime. <laughs> drinking beer at lunchtime. Uh <laughs> I'm even going out of focus. No, I'm back in focus. There's just a lot of green. There's a lot of green. Uh, so, <laughs> are you ready for all these tax announcements? No, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not. There's going to be a lot of uh, flash sales. Flash sales, you know, where they sell things really cheap because they got to get rid of it because they're afraid of the tax burden. So, what do you think is the first thing that's going to get sold um, with all these presidential taxes coming on the fifth and fourth stimulus package? First thing to be sold? Oh, uh, Florida. <laughs> yeah, Florida. And who's going to buy Florida? The only people who would ever buy Florida. N Huntington Beach. <laughs> Huntington Beach would be the only people who buy Florida. So let's circle back and hear what the press secretary had to say, or not say, or be evasive in her series of eva not evasive answers today. Uh, let's listen and see what she had to say. All right, happy Tuesday. Wait a second. She just said happy Tuesday. <laughs> Yes, she just wished you a she just wished you a happy Tuesday, Sir Lloyd. Are you having a happy Tuesday? I was until the leprechaun showed up. <laughs> the leprechaun. I was very happy until the color wheel went off the track. It did it the color wheel fell off of the electron the electric vehicle. <laughs> the color wheel just sort of it rolled down the street. The color wheel is run is just running for it because the color wheel can't stand all this green. There's just green everywhere. And yet there's no stimulus check greens. <laughs> yes, there is not. So let's listen in and happy Tuesday. <laughs> it's not a happy Tuesday, LA and when she's talking. Okay, <clears throat> a couple of items for you at the top. Uh, today, uh, President Biden is issuing an executive order requiring federal contractors to pay a $15 minimum wage to hundreds of thousands of their employees. These workers are critical to the functioning of federal government, from cleaning professionals and maintenance workers to nursing assistants who care for the nation's veterans to cafeteria and other food service workers who ensure we all have healthy and nutritious food to eat, to laborers who build and repair federal and does she, she talk about the executive order for student loan debt forgiveness? Of course not, Sir Lloyd. Uh, this is the opening of remarks. Let's let, <laughs> she just evades that question as much as she can. Let's listen to the next exchange later in this broadcast. Federal infrastructure. The executive order will increase the hourly minimum oh, wage. Uh, we want to go here. <laughs> Let's listen in. Talk a little bit about the speech tomorrow. Sure. How long do you think it'll be? Is he doing practice sessions? Um, are cabinet members going to be in attendance? That sort of thing. Sure. Uh, so, <laughs> so what is that question, Ellie? Oh, uh, that that the guy in the in the audience is asking for tomorrow's um, a conference. Is the president? Uh, what is the president doing for tomorrow's conference? So, uh, for joint session of Congress, what is the president bringing to it? What? How is he preparing? And what is he doing to get ready? Uh, do you like that question, Sir Lloyd? No, it's just a stupid question. <laughs> Why is it a stupid question? Because he's going to bring the binder. <laughs> he always has that binder. He always has that binder in all the press conferences. He has a binder. Because if he doesn't know what saloon or salon is, he can just laugh it off. <laughs> yes. And now, how else do you think he's preparing for tomorrow's press conference? He's going to walk in with a breath mint in his mouth before he starts to talk. Because <laughs> that's what he always does. And then he has a breath mint before he has the opening line. <laughs> he always has the breath mint. Yes, you've known the breath mint and the and the and the and the binder. He wants to just have a very nice breath of fresh air. <laughs> climate, climate. <laughs> and if there's not good climate, he's going to tax you. He's going to tax you. Again, what was that question with that reporter? How's he going to prepare for tomorrow? He's a president. He had libs everything. Every president had libs everything. He's just going to, you know, roll his mouth, and we're going to run that little fact check thing on the bottom of the screen, and then we'll say, you know, the facts don't line up, but, you know, God bless you, and you're our president. 
<laughs> That's how it usually works. None of the facts are going to line up. They're present. They just only just don't have facts. <laughs> And then how about the uh, the economic council guy? Do you think that that guy from Yale is going to be there t- tomorrow? No, he's going to be leaning on the wall. <laughs> yeah, he did lean on the wall. Yes, he's just like lean on the wall. Yes, he'll be leaning on the wall until they move the wall or they stop building the wall. <laughs> they stop building the wall. <laughs> they stop building the wall, and then he's going to top over. <laughs> Sir Lloyd. So how else do you think the president's going to prepare for tomorrow's joint conference uh, for, uh, for, the, for, um, for Congress? How do you think he's going to prepare for tomorrow? Lots of White Castle hamburgers. <laughs> Lots of White Castle hamburgers. He's going to be well fed. Very well fed. He's a president. And after those breath mints, he's going to be very hungry. <laughs> So let's listen in to see what the uh, what the answer is when asked, is he going to prepare a speech or is he just going to ad lib it tomorrow? I think the viewers think he's going to ad lib the tomorrow's press conference. Let's uh, listen Let me in. give you as many details as I can at this point, and then we'll continue to provide additional updates. As you all know, there's a, a briefing later tonight uh, as well. Um, first, Steve, you have covered many presidents who have delivered these addresses. Uh, you can be our historian and tell us if any of them have final addresses where we know the exact length, about 36 hours in advance. So we're not quite there on that piece yet. Um, but I can tell you that. Wow, Ellie, she doesn't answer the question. <laughs> no, she doesn't answer the question. Mind blowing. It's, you know, uh, <laughs> he has the binder. She knows what the speech says and she's not gonna answer the question. <laughs> He's not asking her what's in the speech. He's asking her, does he have a speech? Well, I don't know if he has a speech, she says. I don't know if he has a speech, and I don't know how long the speech is. You have the binder. You made the binder. You went to the store and bought the binder. He went to the blue one with the extra large rings, the one that flips to the side, that comes with a breath mitt on the side. You know exactly how long the speech is. Answer the darn question for finally. <laughs> Sir Lloyd, you are going into that. She just, she thinks because she wears green, she just just not even answer how long a darn speech is. <laughs> Let's listen to more, Sir Lloyd. That the president has been working uh, on this speech uh, for the last few weeks. Uh, he has been uh, preparing with um, senior advisor Mike Donilon. Uh, Wait, did you hear that? <laughs> I think I did hear that. She just said... Wait, let me let me let me let me re digest that again. Let me digest that again. So like <laughs> digest what? She said he's been preparing the speech for a couple of the last few weeks. Yeah, she did say that. He's only been present for a couple of weeks. <laughs> he's only been present for a few weeks. What what speech have you been preparing for a couple of weeks? You've only been present for a few weeks. You've only been present for a hundred days. What speech do you have to prepare? What did you prepare the speech while on the campaign trail? <laughs> Yeah, he, he's been preparing the speech since the 1920s, yes. I've been preparing this speech, you know, since I was a senator. He's, he's, he's going to talk about the Truman Generation. <laughs> Yes, he's going to talk about Lyndon B. Johnson. I just I just went to lunch with him yesterday. Oh, wait, i got to revise the speech. This is a little bit outdated now. <laughs> he's going to say that. He's going to say, you know, uh... <laughs> He's going to say, uh, you know, in the future, maybe we'll be able to um, uh, drive on a freeway. <laughs> yes, he's going to talk about future technology like the microwave. That's the, the he's been preparing the speech since the 1940s. He has to take out the part about the microwave. He has to take out the part about the color TV. And he, <laughs> he has to take out the part about, uh, you know, not, uh, the, the, the pay phone. <laughs> At the corner of the curb. Yes, he's been preparing the speech for a very long time. I'm so God. I'm so happy that uh, that question was asked. How long have you been preparing the speech? Let's listen to it more. <laughs> Uh, director of speech writing Vinay Reddy uh, working on the speech and really over the last several days he's been edit line editing it meeting with his speech writers getting advice and counsel from senior advisors checking in with members. Uh, who, who are the advisors? Um, you know who the advice is, Arthur Lloyd. It's this guy. Oh, no, Adelaide. Please don't. Uh, I, 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 I have high blood pressure already. <laughs> 
You have high blood pressure already. I already have high blood pressure. Please don't put up that picture. You saw what happened last night when you put up that picture. Well, you put out that video. Uh, that's Brian DC, the uh, chief economic advisor of the president. Yes, the, the, the person who doesn't know anything about anything. <laughs> Just so light. I just oh, Jeff, oh my my blood pressure is is I, just, I, I, I you have to give me a meat taco to calm down. <laughs> meat taco to calm down. You don't like it. He is just. I can deal with her with the green and the teal, but him, he literally knows nothing. He is literally a buffoon. He has absolutely no idea what he's doing. He wants to talk about the economic competitiveness of his two-year-olds, you know, and his empirical evidence and his empirical lean against the wall. And we need to invest in the future 25 years from now, but we're in the middle of the pandemic. We're not investing in the current situation. He just, ah. Uh, we would never allow him in the casino. You would never allow him in the casino. I wonder who else she's who prepared the present for Versus yesterday. His family, uh, and also as part of his process, he engages with his policy teams to ask for additional details, ask for further clarification, and certainly, given we're rolling out the American Families Plan, that has also been uh, being been finalized or in the finalization process through this. Um, I can also tell you that. Uh, While well, the major policy announcement in the speech is, of course, the American Families Plan, a historic investment in education and child care. Notice how she has to read the speech, read from something when she says that? Yeah, I, I did notice that. Let's play it back. She doesn't know it by heart. <laughs> she has to read the, uh, the propaganda before also, she as says part it. Of his process, Let's watch he her look down here. with his policy teams to ask for additional details, ask for further clarification. And certainly, given we're rolling out the American Families Plan, that has also been uh, being, been finalized or in the finalization process through this. Um, oh, I can there also she goes. tell you that She's looking down. Uh, while the major policy announcement in the speech is, of course, the American Families Plan, a historic what is it? investment in education and child care, he will Let's also read. use the speech here comes the propaganda. as an opportunity to talk about many of his other priorities, including police reform, immigration, gun safety, his ongoing work to get the pandemic under control, and to putting Americans back to work. Uh, he was in the Senate for 36 Wait a second, L.A. Did, did you hear what I heard? <laughs> you did hear right, sir. Line. Did I just hear her say he's going to cover four stimulus, the American Jobs Plan, and then he's going to cover fifth stimulus, the American Families Act, and then he's going to cover six stimulus and seven stimulus and eight stimulus, all in the same press conference? <laughs> That's what I heard, so like, he is literally going to go all the way to stimulus to the 22 and beyond. Yes, he's literally going to, he's, it's just going to be stimulus to your, you know, uh, to the cows come home. <laughs> to, the, <laughs> to the cows come home. Why can't he just do one stimulus package at another, at a time, LA? You know, can we just do four stimulus and get it done with? What is the purpose of announcing stimulus package after stimulus package after stimulus package? Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. What's the purpose of announcing stimulus packages so many in one speech? Is there a reason? Uh, yeah, there is a reason. What is it? Uh, to give YouTube channels coverage. <laughs> <laughs> to give YouTube channels topics for the next 20 years. I just, I don't, it's, I, I think he's just, I think he, I think YouTube channels are, are tipping him on this. I think, I think they're like, you know, donating to his campaign. Can you please do a stimulus package, a discussions of the 10 stimulus package, just to ensure viewers that there's going to be 10 stimulus package in 30 years from now. Uh, and, you know, the, just never to leave because I, I just, why would he talk about stimulus packages 900 months from now other than a youtube channel a, a, a kickback <laughs> it just it sounds like it's you know it sounds like it's uh <laughs> he's trying to finance you finance uh certain programmers <laughs> uh, let's listen to more to uh the coverage of what else she had to say six years he also sat through eight of these as the vice president and he certainly recognizes the important opportunity that this offers. Uh, in, in attendance, uh, there will be uh, the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Defense, as well as I think the Supreme Court confirmed the Chief Justice will be in attendance. Uh, joining him will be Dr. Biden, the Vice President, and of course the second gentleman. There will not be a First Lady's box as there has been historically. Um, while the speech will of course look and feel different from past years, the President will preserve a few traditions, including the walk down the center aisle uh, that we have seen presidents do for many years. He will of course be wearing a mask for that. He'll remove the mask when he delivers uh, his speech. Uh, he'll also uh, be meeting 
uh, with uh, men and women, a career staff, uh, who were at the Capitol on January 6th in advance of the speech. That's beautiful. I really like that, Adelaide. I did too. <laughs> and the best part about it, what was the best part about Sir Lloyd, is that this guy was on Metro. <laughs> Yes, you just do not want him in attendance. He can invite the entire uh, set of the Rockettes, so long as he doesn't invite that guy. <laughs> you just don't want him there. He is a, he is your protagonist. He is my protagonist on the show. Can we just never invite him around? And, you know, you can have Javita Light uh, uh, cover for me. I, I will just... Yes... <laughs> The, the, the days that he, you have footage of him, I will just call in sick and get my paid sick leave. <laughs> Who says I have paid sick leave for you? Well, then, you know, I will just, I will just, just not appear. <laughs> Meantime, uh, turning subject matters, did you hear what else happened today? No, what else happened? Well, um, Representative Neal introduced something. Oh, Representative Neal. Representative Neal, he's uh, head of Ways and Means Committee. Yes, he's head of the Ways and Means Committees. There's always a way with him and always a means. <laughs> yes, that's why he's head of Ways and Means Committees. Does he wave all the time? No, it's ways, not waves. Waves? No, way, way, ways. Like there's a way to get... Oh, there's always a way with him. Just not a wave. No, there's not a wave. There's a way. Ways and means, not waves and means. <laughs> Is he mean? No, not that type of mean. <laughs> this is very confusing, Elaine. He's head of ways and means, but he's nice. <laughs> he's head of ways and means, but he's nice. Well, and I don't, I don't know him actually, <laughs> so he might be mean. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, do you, do you remember what he looks like? No. Um, is he a looker? <laughs> is he a what? Is he a looker? I don't remember what he looks like. Uh, do you have a picture of him? Let me see. Uh, uh. Oh, he is a looker. <laughs> <Sir Lloyd. laughs> he's looking at something. I don't know what he's looking at. <laughs> Sir Lloyd. That's Richard Neal. He is definitely looking at something. <laughs> uh, yes, that is your chair of the Ways and Means Committee. And he talked about spending money on something under the fifth stimulus package today. Really? Let me guess. A new photographer. <laughs> A new photographer. He's going to invest in a lot of new photographers. Yes, this is not, um, this is actually his official uh, house photo photograph. Uh, and he doesn't normally look this way. So, yes, uh, who, who hired this house photographer? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but Nancy Pelosi did not provide budget for this. No, she did not. <laughs> Uh, Ellie. Um, okay, so <laughs> so that's the head of the ways and means. I'm not going to be mean, but he needs to spend some of the budget on new photographers. Um, and so what did he do today? <laughs> okay, so Sir Lloyd, um, a Representative Neal, head of the Ways and Means Committee, introduced new legislation. Oh, a new bill. Okay, oh, what's the bill about? Uh, to provide money for children. Oh, he's one of those. <laughs> He's one of those. He's like the guy from yesterday. He's like the guy from yesterday. He's investing in the economic future of one-year-olds. Yes, he, he's, he's doing that. So how much is he giving? Is he giving them nice um, discounts to get some ice cream? No, uh, no, he's doing a little bit more than that. <laughs> is he giving them, uh, let me see, uh, a discount to the local toy store? No, he's, he's actually doing a little bit more than that. Okay, so... He's giving them an extra stimulus check of twelve hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. No, he, no, no, he's actually yet to go higher. Ellen, I feel like this is, um, I feel like this is, um, Steve Harvey on a bad episode of Family Feud. <laughs> yes, it's starting to feel like that. Uh, <laughs> top five answers on the board. Here are the questions. It just like feels like that. Top five answers on the board. Here are the questions. Think. <laughs> Okay, guess how much he's going to give the little children. Um, you didn't watch today's shows, did you? I did not. Uh, okay, I'll just tell you. Okay, I'm ready. 75000 What? <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Yes, he's giving the little children 75000 What? <laughs> 
You mean you mean children actresses, uh, children actors that are appearing in big blockbuster films, and so you know it's a discount because they're really children actors. They're supposed to have salaries of like a million dollars, but he's giving them a discount, seventy five. No, no, I mean. <laughs> I mean, they sort of, you know, come out of the womb and then they're, they're, they're here and they're born and bam, 75,000. <laughs> and I'm like, this is crazy. How does this work? Well, he wants to um, give them $3,600 starting at birth and then $3,600 every year for 17 years. <laughs> what? What? Wait, 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 is this is this representative Neil from the United States? <laughs> yes, it's representative Neil from the United States. I don't see this. You don't see this. <laughs> you just don't see where this is going. I just don't see where this is going, Ellen. I just don't see where this is going. Oh goodness, now I do see where it's going. <laughs> I just uh, I, I I don't see the logic of this. Maybe he sees the logic of this. Maybe he sees the logic of spending thirty six hundred dollars on someone that just came out of the womb. But Americans, there's a lot of Americans who haven't, who've been out of the womb for a couple of years, even just yes, a couple of months or a couple of decades, and they're not getting $3,600, but they pop out of the womb and he sees, we give them $3,600. I just don't see it. He sees it. He sees a lot of things. He doesn't see the photographer, but he sees a lot of things. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand all this. I don't, I don't. I, 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 it's not my job to explain illogical things. And this one is illogical. What, you know, is he leaning against the same wall the guy from yesterday's leaning against? <laughs> yes, I think they are. Uh, and, and, and it's his, his name is Representative Neil, not Teal. No, it's Representative Neil, not Teal. Neil Teal, he's that DC or Reese or Reese's Cup or, and then, and then she's wearing green. It's just, and she says, how's my day going? It was going really well until this video started. <laughs> <laughs> seventy five thousand. I just know. You know how many years it takes to get seventy five thousand? Well, for this guy, it takes seventeen years to get seventy five thousand. Why are we giving thirty six hundred dollars to someone who just came out of the womb? There's been a lot of people who've been out of the womb for a much longer time, and you know they've really enjoyed it being outside the womb, and they've done a good job being outside the womb for thirty for the you know the last twenty years, and they're not getting anything. But this guy, you come out of the womb thirty six hundred dollars. Another year after the womb thirty six hundred dollars. Thank you for being in the womb. I'm gonna give you thirty six hundred dollars. What? I just. I just, I don't understand this. Uh, is this how, cows don't do this? <laughs> yes, cows, uh, what do cows get? They get slaughtered. <laughs> they do get slaughtered. We get slaughtered, we get slaughtered. We get served as, you know, pork chops. Or, you know, that's calves. That's not, well, that's, that, that, no, that's lamb. That's, <laughs> but, you know, I, it's, it's, I don't understand this. This is, you know, up there with meatless tacos. <laughs> Can he air tag you, maybe to explain? No, he cannot air tag me. I do not want to see from that man. I don't want to see him. I don't want to. No, I, don't, I said I don't want to see him. <laughs> he can't air tag you. No, he cannot air tag me. And he cannot take me to Amazon Hair. It will not make the situation any better. He can't take you to Amazon Hair and get. No, Amazon Hair will not save the situation. Uh, the, no, that will not save the situation either. And, uh, and well, well, maybe that would save the situation <laughs> if he gave you an, an EV uh, Cowalac that may. Well, yeah, maybe I can f keep. I can forgive it. <laughs> so now we know. Well, I don't know. It's just. It's just very troubling. And tomorrow we're going to hear about the fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth, and seventh, and eighth and tenth stimulus package. I just. I'm exhausted. <laughs> You are exhausted. I'm very exhausted. I need to go lean against the wall. <laughs> you need to lean against the wall that that guy did yesterday. Yes. So, Sir Loin, are you going to join me tomorrow? I don't know. I just, are you going to ask me to comment on 10 stimulus packages tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah, I think I may. <laughs> and with that, thank you for joining me on, on LA Late Night. It's been the big night, and I appreciate you for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow morning or early mornings, LA. Uh, that is at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling, subscribe, like, and become a member. And stay with LA. <laughs>